2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. It's the Philadelphia 76ers and the Chicago Bulls. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. Look at the 76ers starting group. The tall line up out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. Now here is Harris. Offline with his three. Harper with the ball. It's Jordan on the wing. And the pass to Longley. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Longley's got the game going here with the first basket for the Bulls. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Richardson. Ball's knocked loose. And the dunk by Embiid. When he's close to the rim, the attitude that Embiid brings is, I'm dunking this thing. Here's Pippen. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Pass to Harper. Shot, high post. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, earlier I spoke with the Bulls head coach. I asked him how they're going to respond after giving away home court advantage in game one. The coach said, hey, that was the last game. That's in the past. We're focused on the present and simply executing to the best of our abilities tonight. But he did admit, Kevin, that another loss here will paint a very grim picture going forward. Back to you. Thank you, David. There's three pointers off the mark. Simmons against Pippen. Simmons looking it over. Kicks it to Richardson. Shot clock at five. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Harris. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Outside Jordan. Good work defensively by Richardson. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Pass to Simmons. Richardson outside. Harris against Harper. Baseline try. A nice shot by Harris. A real comfort zone for Harris. I mean, he's looking to score often from this area. Jordan kicks to Harper. Outside Pippen. Fires the three. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. He kicks it to Horford from deep. The shot, no good. And in Chicago the other way. Outside Harper. Passes it to Pippen. Here's Jordan. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Jordan's got his second basket of the game. Jordan often gets his hoops off the dribble, but he also is capable as a catch-and-shoot guy. Horford finds Simmons. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And, you know, this is the area where Simmons is most effective, mainly due to his size and athleticism. Pippen, the pass to Harper. Outside, Rodman. Now 
Now the pass to Jordan. Goes up on the wing. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Harris against Pippen. Harris kicks to Simmons. Chicago on defense. Releases from 15. Again, Philadelphia. I think this is what we all want to see from Simmons. More of him expanding his game and working in the jump shot. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. The Bulls shooting their first free throw tonight. Free throw good longly. So it's Philadelphia now. They trail by one. Embiid the pass to Simmons. Second shot opportunity. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, I tell you what, so hard to guard that size. I mean, Embiid is an absolute monster. And he knows how to draw fouls, too. The 76ers shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. throw drops for Embiid. I tell you, Joel Embiid possesses remarkable talent. I mean, this big guy is graceful and strong. He's a real matchup problem for everybody. And Embiid drops them both. Chicago trailing here. Outside Pippen. Down low. Here's Longley. And Embiid with the block. Boy, supported by great vertical explosiveness, Embiid continues to dominate as a rim protector. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. He gets it in there. Six points for Michael. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's Simmons. Richardson outside. Here's Harris. He's off on that one. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Horford against Harper. And stolen by Harris. Dennis Rodman pulls it in. Chicago leading. Here's Jordan. Tipped away. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. So for the Bulls. Williams, he's checked in for Longley. Kukoc comes in for Dennis Rodman. And Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Here's MB. Outside, Simmons. He can't get it to go. And the Bulls going the other way now. Now, here's Kirk. He can't hit that time. Simmons with the defensive effort. Here's Thibel.
Pass to Embiid. Over Kerr. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got six. You give Embiid these looks and he won't turn them down and he'll make a good percentage of them. Pippen kicks to Kerr. Jordan against Burks. There's Williams. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Thibel, guarded by Pippen. Pass to Burks. There's a check in for Michael Jordan. And then for Philadelphia, Kyle O'Quinn comes in for Al Horford. And it's Quirk Moss in for Ben Simmons. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Right side, Pippen fires from the line. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got his sixth rebound on the night. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. They get Devin Harris. Really at the right plate defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give him a little bump. And then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time and if they don't think about it at least they might be distracted by your presence. And that one misses. the second from the line and it's Harris with the ball for the Chicago Bulls trailing by two that shot no good good D by Embiid here's Korkmaz guarded by Pippen over to the left wing here's Embiid the baseline jumper goes down Embiid's got eight Boy, such a fluid shooting motion from Embiid. I mean, most times, you just assume that his jumper is dropping. Kerr, the pass to Harris. On the wing, Kukoc. Shoots from the elbow. That one off the back iron and out. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Here's Thibel, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And now a six-point Philadelphia lead. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. 
Left side, Harris. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Who coach with it, working on O'Quinn, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Bulls have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls, and Philadelphia making a change here. Lee's checked in. And Williams drops them both. And here is Lee. Is it the Thibel? Knocks it loose. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. It's Pippen on the wing. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Up top, Kirk. At the elbow, Williams. And the foul on Alec Brooks. That's his first foul. Philadelphia on D. Four-point game. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Lock at six. Here's Pippen. And the Bulls with another miss. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well, Greg. Now here's Brooks shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Boy, guys, their play in the low post has been excellent right off the bat. And that's what's created a rhythm for them offensively. That's also why you see them knocking down that mid-range jump shot. Free throw good. Burks. Burks hits two free throws. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Harris kicks to Pippen. 131 left here in the first quarter. Goes up from the top of the key. Here's Williams. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The Bulls have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off.
So neither attempt will fall that time for him. The 76ers leading by six. To the middle, here's Korkmaz, and the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. For Philadelphia, they have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. First one drops. Bulls making a switch here. Rodman's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. We've got 113 left to play here in the first. Harris looking it over. The pass to Cooper. Five to shoot. Tries it from the top of the key. Offensive rebound. Rodman, and he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And Rodman, a solid inside score. Picks his spots well and uses his body well, too. Lee passes to Burks. And the layup's good off the glass. And the 76ers lead by eight. And you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Now Harris. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Count it. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Philadelphia leading by six. Here's Feibel. On the wing, Lee. Works for three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so the first quarter is in the books. 76ers lead by six. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. And guys, what's uh, what's your take so far on Philadelphia? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Bulls trail by six. And so in the game for the 76ers, they've got Korkmaz, Lee out there with Alec Burks. Then there's Kyle O'Quinn, and it's Thibel in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Kerr. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game. Here's Rodman. Korkmaz grabs the miss. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. And Philadelphia has possession. Dennis Rodman missing his last shot. Kerr with it. On the wing, Harris. Rodman trying to break free. Harris, no good. Philadelphia leading by six. Here's Thibel. Tries again. 
Korkma is no good. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Up top, Kukoc. Here's the feed to Rodman. Williams trying to break free. The shot's good from Rodman. Rodman's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Bulls. Pass to Burks. 76ers moving the ball around. Burks on the wing over Harris. The 76ers with another miss. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Kukoc gets the bucket. How about the shot selection of Tony Kukoc, a threat to sink the three ball? You got to chase him off of that line. Lee passes to Thibel. Back to Lee. Six to shoot. From the line. Burks can't get it to go. And it's Williams with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. And here's Harris from the arc. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. O'Quinn's got four rebounds in this game. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number five here tonight. Who coach dishes to Kerr. And the foul on Alec Brooks. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Longley's checked in for Chicago. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harris is checked in. Now here is Harris. Out to Kukoc. Here's the three. It's a hand on it. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Rodman's got his third bucket of the night. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Their offense came out big in Saturday's game. The mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Checked in for the Bulls. Harper comes in for Kerr. Philadelphia also making some changes. El Horford's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Simmons comes in for Korkmaz. And it's Richardson in for Damian Lee. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Philadelphia. Simmons inside. Started by Kukoc. They get it again. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Boy, that's a great effort from Simmons, guys. He might have point guard skills, and he's got plenty of those, but he can bang inside, too. Jordan against Richardson. Shot from 16, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. The 76ers lead it. Simmons on the wing. Rodman covering. Here's Horford. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Tough miss, especially since the defense wasn't that strong. I mean, he needs to cash in from there. Harper dishes it to Rodman. And he banks in the layup. Rodman's got six here in this quarter. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Richardson the pass to Simmons. Right wing. 
And they double up B. Out to Harris. Just five on the clock. And here's Richardson outside. Here's Embiid. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. Boy, proving to be a handful once again, guys. Embiid, so tough to keep off the glass because of his agility and size. Harper against Simmons. Harper the pass to Longley. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Now here's Simmons. He's got six. Richardson outside. Launches a three. That one doesn't drop. Chicago leading. Right side, Harper. Outside, Kukoc. Harper kicks to Jordan. And stolen by Harris. And now the 76ers on the break. Basket good. Harris has got his second basket. Yeah, the effort and willingness to get out and run like that on the fast break endears Harris to his coaches, I'm sure. Upside Rodman. And here's Longley. Seven points in the game. Six on the shot clock. Over Richardson. Longley can't get it to go. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. Oh, and the jam by Ben Simmons. And, you know, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane bounce, he takes advantage of it, really demonstrating how lethal he is in the air. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Chicago making a switch here. Pippen's checked in. That's good from Simmons. I like his even keel demeanor, guys. You look at Ben Simmons, never too high or too low. He's got a quiet confidence about him that bodes well for his future. Now here's Pippen. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Jordan against Richardson. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Now here's Jordan. He's got six. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Hard not to respect how tough Jordan is inside. Really good at angling his body to pick up the foul call. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. For some, he is the GOAT, Michael Jordan, greatest of all time, legend, arguably the best player of all time. That's a debate for another time, but the epitome of greatness is for sure. And so Jordan nails both of them. It's a close game here in Chicago. Al Richardson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Horford. Outside, Simmons. Five on the clock. Back to Horford. From deep three-point range, they get the rebound. MB. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Hey, once MB catches the hot hand now, he's looking to shoot it as much as he can. Pippen kicks to Horford. Richardson against Jordan. And 
and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Harris dishes to Richardson. Passes it to Embiid. Simmons against Harper, and there's the pass to Embiid, and the shot goes in. Now it's a 6.76ers lead. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He has yet to miss a shot. Chicago calls timeout. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. He continues to burn them with his scoring, and the coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively. Here's Pippen. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Longley. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. Simmons against Harper. Top of the key. Good challenge that time by Embiid using all that length quite well. For Chicago, they have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. Two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The 76ers leading by four. Richardson outside. Back to Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Harper the pass to Rodman. To the inside. Longley, Rodman trying to break free. Longley can't get it to go. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Now, here's Richardson. Here's Harris. The shot, no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. Already, he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter.
Simmons on the wing. He's guarded by Harper. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Simmons against Harper. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Shot clock at six. Fires it up. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Bulls trail by six. Here's Harper. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Now here's Simmons. He's got nine. Back to Embiid. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And Scotty Pippen the bucket on the assist from Ron Harper. Harper's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, and Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Richardson. 130 left in the first half. Here's Embiid. Good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Jordan against Richardson. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. Chicago making some changes. Harris has checked in for Jordan. And Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Seven left in the second quarter. Lock at six. Inside. Here's Harris. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Harris has got his second bucket. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Simmons dishes to Harris. From about 16. It's all in by the Bulls. Here's Kerr. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. To the paint. Takes it from 10. And that one goes long. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Kerr. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And the basket by Harris. It almost feels like two buckets coming off the steal like it did. Simmons passes to Embiid, and the dunk by Embiid. You got to recognize, Simmons is a pass-first guy, which is why you can't leave somebody open around. Kerr with it. For three, Harris. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. 76ers on top, up two. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We hope you're enjoying this round two conference semifinal. Taking a look at the 76ers, getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs the way these two teams are battling. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? You can see where the priorities are. <laughs> Rebound. Rebounding and then more rebounding. They made a concerted effort to get the glass clean. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? Well, the low turnovers really stood out to me. They didn't get loose with it or make silly passes. Nothing was forced. They had a nice flow to the offense. The guys knew where to be on the floor. That's the heads-up style of play they need to bring in the second half. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. 
And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. Joel Embiid has been sensational. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinal. Rodman is out there with Pippen. Then it's Jordan. Then there's Harper. And it's Longley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Horford against Harper. Over Horford. Harper, no good. The 76ers lead it. Richardson left side. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Now here's Pippen. Here's Jordan. It's hauled in by Richardson. Philadelphia leading by four. He dishes it to Simmons. Pippen against Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Embiid, no good. And here are the Bulls now. Inside. And it's Jordan. That time on the assist from Ron Harper. That's ten points for Michael Jordan. You know, Jordan is an accomplished scorer inside. I mean, feels like he can get whatever shot he wants on the block. It's Richardson on the wing, guarded by Jordan. Richardson kicks to Simmons. Poked away. And it's blocked. And here is Harper. Passed along. And here's Pippen. Outside Jordan. Bulls moving the ball around. For the tie. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Simmons got five rebounds tonight. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Chicago trailing here. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's Harper. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Richardson outside. From deep. The 76ers with another miss. And maybe he thinks... He has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes guys have the green light to take that shot, but I don't think he's one of them. Now here is Harris. Now here's Simmons. Rodman with the ball. I'm guarded by Simmons. Rodman passes to Hart. And here's Longley. And the rejection by Embiid. The shot by Rodman, no good. And so Simmons will bring it up for the 76ers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Yeah, you know, you can't get overly physical with Harris because once you do, he turns it against you and uses it for his good. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. That's good from Harris. You know, over time, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility, and that's part of learning how to be a leader. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Dennis Rodman. Korkmaz checked in for Philadelphia. Damian Lee comes in for Simmons. And he makes both free throws. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. 
Here's Pippen. He can't get that one. Some solid defense from Harris. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Lee finds Horford. Six on the shot clock. The pass to Harris. Harper with the ball. Picked up by Harris. Harper against Lee. Harper dishes to Jordan. Drains it from 17 feet out. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Now Lee still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. For Philadelphia, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Al Horford. So one for two that time at the strike. Bulls trail by three. Here's Harper. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And I enjoy watching Harper as he, he fends off the contact. Awesome at just finding those little cracks in the defense and exploiting them. Now here is Harris. He has six for the lead. And that's two points on the layup. Harper's got six. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Bulls. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Embiid inside, covered by Long. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do against Embiid, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically timeout, timeout. skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, Started. he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Chicago calls timeout. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. The 76ers making a change here. Burks is checked in. And here are the Bulls now. They trail by one. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Harper, very versatile, athletic. Plays with some physicality, too. Um, he brings a little bit of grit and hustle along with some flair and skill. For Chicago, they have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. Two. Two. And that one falls for Harper. So he hits both. 
the 76ers trailer. Lee outside. Pass to Burks. MB. And MB is right there. I'll tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Michael Jordan on the wing. It's Pippen on the wing. Outside Harper. Just five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. From deep three-point range. But they get it back. Longley sinks that one from the post. Longley's got 11. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Pass to Burks. Shoots. Up again. It's good on the putback. And the 76ers lead by one. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great position. Pippen, the pass to Longley. Outside Harper. Over Lee. The shot misses. And Philadelphia the other way now. Here's Korkmaz. The dish to Harris. You know, looking to score often from there, Harris is excellent at drawing the defense's attention and fouls. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the 76ers. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, Take leaving them no room to get off any Two shots. Shot. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That That's just pure effort and hustle. That's good from Harris. So for the Bulls, Harris comes in for Pippen. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. He doesn't get the second one. Chicago trailing here. Outside Jordan. Shot from the top of the key. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Here's Korkmaz. Guarded by Kukoc. The 76ers with another miss. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Now here is Harris. He has six. Here's Longley. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Longley's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. And here are the 76ers now. Harris against Burks. Drilled from 11 feet out. Burks has got his second bucket tonight. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Passes to Thibault. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Seven -six -six 76ers moving the ball around. Knocked away. Up top, Kerr. Burke's covering. Kerr can't hit. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. Here's Thibel. Kukoc with the rebound. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing wrong. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. 
Bulls have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for the Bulls. A free throw off from Harris. And Harris does a really good job using his quickness to his advantage. And he's got plenty of that quickness. A creative guard who plays with an edge, too. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. There's the pass to Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. And he breaks out the tomahawk. No soft finish there. Pure power. We could feel that one all the way over here. Yeah, great aggressive move to the bucket there. He wasn't about to pass that one up. He threw it down. So here's Burks. The Bulls getting the bucket. Bucket is good. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Kerr against Burks. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. Right side, Jordan kicks it out to Kerr. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Feeds it to Burks. And it's Jordan with the rebound. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yeah, it is unfortunate, embarrassing. He just lost his concentration for a split second. That's all it took. And that one's good. Weibel. 124 left to play here in the third. Left side, Harris. To the inside, Rodman. And then Rodman with the dunk. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And it's the 76ers with the ball. After the Bulls pick up two. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And he can't get the first one. Some changes for Philadelphia. Al Horford, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. And Simmons subbed in for Korkmaz. Good on the second free throw. 54 seconds left to play in the third. Jordan with it. He's got 16. Thirteen feet away. And that's good for two. Jordan's got 10 points in just the second half. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside. It goes strong to the rim. And Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Back to Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Down low. Horford finds Simmons. Another miss by Philadelphia. Burks against Harris. Pass to Kerr. Shoots it. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got three assists tonight. Such a nice compact repeatable motion there Kerr is a true floor spacer offensively and don't go away we'll be right back
Moments ago from the huddle, let's listen to coach Brett Brown. It's just what we said, though. It's exactly what we said. We guarded. We defended. We got stops. We came up with plays. That's all we got right now. That's all we got right now. Take it. And you can tell defense is very important to coach. Kevin, Coach Brown loves effort. And now let's see if they can find themselves on offense. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. In the backcourt, Simmons and Richardson. Down low, it's Harris and Horford. And it's Thibel in at the small forward. And here's Richardson, five to shoot. Rodman excellent at contesting shots. A physically imposing presence. He does a really good job distracting shooters. And slam dunk by Jordan. Nice play, and you can see their gathering momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. It's tipped. And the dunk by Jordan. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. Greg, you can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. Here's Simmons. No good on that one. Great D that time from Jordan. Here's Harris. Plays it up and banks it in. Harris has got the lead up to 11 now for the Bulls. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Here's Thibel, guarded by Jordan. Harris outside. Six to shoot. Pass to Horford. Good, and Harris gets the assist. Horford's got his first points of the night. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Chicago calls timeout. Pippins checked in for Chicago. Harper comes in for Steve Kerr. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Harris. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with the team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Now, here's Richardson. Embiid inside. Harris is there. Embiid finds Horford. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Horford's got four points in the quarter. You know, one thing you got to love about Embiid is how unselfish he is. I mean, he's pretty good at spotting open teammates. Here's Harper. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And the Bulls lead by 11. And so Simmons will bring it up for the 76ers. To the middle, here's Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists in the game. 
The Bulls leading by nine. Harris passes to Hart. Horford against Pippen. Looking to get it going. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. First one falls for Longley's checked in for Tony Kukoc. Damian Lee is checked in for the 76ers. And both free throws good for Pippen. The 76ers trail by 11. Richardson outside. Passes it to Simmons. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Sensing the contact coming and adjusting his shot accordingly. Nice recognition and adjustment by Simmons. It's Pippen on the win. Covered by Lee. Pippen kicks to Hart. The pass to Longley. And the rejection by Embiid. Richardson against Harper. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's Philadelphia now. Pope loose. Embiid finds Simmons. Makes it off the glass. And for a 6'10 player like Simmons to be handling the ball like that? Come on. That's criminal. Upside Pippen. Rodman trying to break free. And it's Pippen missing. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Here's Richardson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Shooting two. No good on that one. And he sinks the second. Now Harris. Down low. And Embiid with the block. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Pippen, the pass to Hart. to Longley. And the rejection by Embiid. Lee bounce pass and he gets the whistle three. for the three second call. <laughs> Chicago leading by six. Harris outside. Oh, 
Clock at six. Pass to Longley. Back to Harris. They need this one. The shot comes out. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Simmons inside. Guarded by Harris. And the call will be against Harris. That's his third foul of the game. Chicago making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Korkmaz is checked in. Simmons against Harper. Now here's Simmons. Defense is right there. Can't connect from short range. Chicago leading. Outside Pippen. Unable to get that one. Good work defensively by Richardson. You know, it's really surprising that they're up at this point given that he struggled so mightily. Back to Simmons. He feeds it to Horford. Five on the clock. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got rebound number 13 with that last one. That one falls. 24 points for Jordan. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. And the 76ers call time here. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Michael Jordan. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And Greg, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. The 76ers trail by eight. Here's Richardson. Up top, Simmons. He's guarded by Harper. And he gets the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Harris against Pippen. Passes it to Longley. Plays it up off the glass. And the Bulls lead by eight. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Pippen against Richardson. And stolen by Richardson. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way and laid in to finish the break. Now that could be a major moment in this game. Just, just when we thought this contest might be over, a steal, a fast break, and it's hold everything time. Here's Jordan. Good work defensively by Richardson. The 76ers trail by six. Kicks to Simmons. the pass to Horford and it's Harper with the rebound and he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible and you know what guys that will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense MJ finding his man right there 
Jordan against Richardson. Pippen with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Here's Harper. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Ben Simmons. And that one falls for Harper. Alec Burks checked in for Philadelphia. So he picks up just one from the line that time. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Pass to Embiid. Simmons against Jordan. The 11-footer. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Simmons. And these are shots Simmons hits consistently. A highly efficient score from there. Outside, Rodman. Longley passes to Jordan. Doesn't go for him. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for Philadelphia. He kicks to Simmons. Inside. There's Embiid. Longley grabs the miss. Longley's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Jordan and the dunk by Jordan. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Embiid inside. Longley on him. Embiid, no good. The Bulls leading by nine. Outside Pippen. 137 left to play here in the fourth. Dishes it to Jordan. Four on the shot clock. Hits the outside fadeaway. Jordan's got 28. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Harris finds Simmons. Back to Harris. Let's it go from 11. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from Harris. 30 points for Joel Embiid. Well, he's got so much in his package on offense. Embiid just knows how to score the basketball. To the paint. Outside for Jordan. With some art. And it's sent back by Horford. Harris dishes to Simmons. There's 39 seconds left in the game. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. They're this close to putting it away. Yeah, they don't need to do anything special. Just take time off the clock. Here's Simpkins. Pass to Harris. Teardrop shot. That shot is off. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yep, I'd agree with you. Chalk it up. W in the bag. Robinson kicks to lead. Off target with his three. Harris with it. And so it's Chicago winning this one. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 
would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.